the target. 190 runs to get. Karachi Ghazis will now come out with a reply. Let's join the action as the two openers walk in. So the first delivery of the run chase. Sabzada Farhan to face. Oh, beautiful start. Beautiful. Through the gap. Doesn't get any better than this. Fantastic timing. Yeah, I love watching this. It's the pure yeah. cricket shot, isn't it? Risty, very risty towards one side. That's a great start for Sadza Zafaran. Not so good for Asif Ali Chandi. Onto the leg stuff. Easy pickings for him. Sadza Zafaran's bat. There you go. You can't bowl there if you've got uh, the fine leg up. Absolutely classy cricket shot. Again, they didn't try and overhit it. Just watch this. Gets into position, waits for it. Ah, oh, it's beautiful timing, isn't it? Just like six, those two men. This is short and wide. It's punished. It's not a good delivery from the captain. They've got uh, exactly what it deserves. Love that. Delays the hands, doesn't go with it too early. He wasn't quite at the pitch, but a maximum gets them to uh, 31 for no wicket after three. And again, glorious. This one bounce over the boundary line. There is no stopping Sabzada for Han tonight. Last ball of the fourth. Gives himself room and now hits over offside. It's good batting. It's excellent batting. It'll run away from four. Saib Zada Farhan is, uh, is on one tonight. 32, he goes to. It's 45 for no wicket off the four. Straight over the bowler. He's making batting look easy. In fact, this opening pair of batters, they are just uh, taking the bowlers on and depositing it everywhere. The 50 is up for Karachi. This has been the highest run getter in T20 format. And there he plays one straight down the ground. Meanwhile, this one, wonderful stroke. Drop kicking it through mid the uh, cow corner. Gets four. And Clark is looking good. He's just coming off a double hundred. Just over extra cover, in fact, well over extra cover. Using the power play, using those speed restrictions to very good effect. This is a wonderful opening partnership and very sensible batting. And with a batter in as good a form as the clock is, he'll just keep backing you. It's not working. It is not working at all. It's another boundary. Four more. Runs have been leaked and been uh, really scored off quite easily. Six overs completed. That's a massive over. 76 without loss. Right, we'll come to that in a moment. The captain's on, Anwar. Went for 15 in the first over. In there, will this be taken? It is quite a simple catch. Eventually turns out to be a soft dismissal. But that's the wicket Hyderabad was after. They needed a breakthrough. And the captain has led from the front. Captain takes captain over here. Saif Zada Farhan trying to flick one over mid-wicket. This is the deep end. The longer boundary, 70 yards over there. It's comfortably taken, I think, five or six yards in the boundary. So this is the first wicket down. Saif Zada goes, scoring 38, giving a brilliant start to his team. And the first one is down the legs again, and it's off the pads and gone for another boundary. So extras are hurting Hyderabad side. So Karachi now get to 80. And this is pretty loose stuff. The runs will come. There's a bit of a, a shimmy outside and they've got to be out. He's given himself some room and this panic has ensued. Haider is out. Yeah, you see it's either one of them. When the pressure starts mounting, you see the boundary. The idea was right, making room inside out, but he catches that only fielder. Square of the wicket on the offside and straight into the hands. He had 
nothing else to do just to wait for that ball who's coming to him and the spinners are doing their job the pressure from Asif Afridi's end it's 100 for 2 Heather only goes for 9 there you go he's uh, picked the slower one and he's managed to clear that boundary he'll uh, probably calm his nerves down after getting that maximum he's been itching to go big it's 10 overs to go 82 to win a club approaching uh, his first 50 of the tournament and he smashes that one through and that'll be 50 fantastic timing there from a club he gets 50 off just 31 deliveries well played young man yeah that's a good shot more control more as a top order opener opener kind of a shot This one is asking for trouble, but it's gone straight to the hands. Wow, that is some luck. Umar bin Yusuf, as Ali was showering, a lot of praise on him. To play that long inning, that anchor role for the team, he'll have to walk back after scoring three runs. It's 120 for three now. So he's set, and uh, that's cleaned up. Miran Mumtaz bowling a quicker one, and Ali having no clue of it. Yeah, not just they have lost the fourth one, but the momentum too, that yoked himself. Brilliant bowling. We've been talking about the quality of Mehran. He's a very smart operator. He'll have to walk back without scoring any runs. It's 120 for four now. Square leg, mid-wicket, fine leg and long on in position on the onside for Fezan. Nicely, nicely done. But no, I thought it's gone. The fielder but that has bisected the both, the both of them and gone for the boundary. A much needed one. Shot a one, fielder there, taken easily by the captain. Fezan gets the big one, the big wicket of Eklag. The pressure of getting runs, getting on to Eklag. He had to go big, had to get those boundaries. And it was pace off the ball, but he could have placed it much better. Just have a look at that, Fezan bowling change of pace. And then Eklag trying to just hit it hard, doing nothing much else. He's gone. He's done his best 66 of 42, but not enough for his side at the moment. Nice use of the wrist. Into the gap. Better effort was required. That has gone for a boundary. He's not happy with that effort. He did his best, the fielder at Square Lake. He's lucky that only went for four. The fielder, he tried his best, dived on his left side, and he couldn't get it. Uh oh that's nice that's nicely done fantastic he's been searching for those shots finally connecting one towards the from much needed again a couple of boundaries to end this over gone right through that's an eyes wide shot slog attempted and niaz has to walk back that's wicket number six now they're falling like dominant they need two runs every ball and trying to do that the chances are that you're going to take risks and this is what happened that was cleverly bold aimed at the leg stump look at that front foot being cleared and he, he was aiming somewhere else the ball was at the stumps ideally he would be looking to play straight and over the bowler said but instead he was looking to swing across the line he's out for two he's a canny operator Oh, but good fielding. Oh, no, not really. For a moment, I thought it was well done because the timing was good. It was hit of the meat of the bat, short and wide. That angle into that body, not allowing room to swing the bat. There you go. Into the stance goal. What's he asking for? He's hit timber. Excellent line. I like the angle. He was going wide to the crease. He had a clear plan, and that is to go full at the leg stump. Look how he spears it in at the middle and leg stump. The experience of Anwar Ali sees Adil out for 18. It's 154 for 7. Short fine chance, direct hit would be out. Yes, direct hit. It's always interesting, it's got to be out. He was struggling to get there. Well, Hyderabad Bahadurs are looking to wrap this up in no time. This should be the eighth wicket. We're going upstairs for the official decision. That is, that is bullseye. But just look at how the batter is looking to ground his bat. 
Wicket number eight falls. And Karashi Ghazi's are 155 runs. Amir Khan goes to one. That's the toy end of the bat. Should be out. Should be nine wickets. Yes, Anwar Ali gets another one. That's the third wicket in the over. Include that run out. They are all over the place, Karashi Ghazi's. I think I, I wasn't right. I said that he left because he wanted to bat to the end. But it was not the case. Badamin out without scoring. 155. That's all. That's the end of the first day of the Sin Premier League with the Karachi Ghazis wrapped up for 158. Imran Khan Senior, the last wicket to fall with the Hyderabad Bahadurs winning the first game of the Sin Premier League by 31 runs. That's a big margin and grabbing those two valuable points to go up in the table. Karachi Ghazis needed 190 to win, but all they managed was 158 in their 20 overs. In fact, they didn't even bat 20. They lost all their wickets. They had a good start with Sahib Zada Farhan and Akhlaq, and it looked like they might finish with balls to spare. But then some very accurate and good bowling from the Bahadurs led them to this win. And three wickets for Anwar Ali shows that the captain leading from the front. Quick look at the bowling card, Anwar Ali. Uh, with his bowling, 3 for 24, brilliant uh, attack from him. And then two wickets apiece for Asif Ali and Mehran Mumtaz and a wicket each for Jahadad and Fezan. Quick look at the match summary where Karachi Ghazis looking to score 190 to win the match only managed to score 158 and they were all out. They had a good start with the Akhlaq and Saif Zada Farhan but then they just nosedived, losing the match by 31 runs to Hyderabad Bahadurs with their brilliant bowling and their captain leading from the front 3 for 24 Anwar Ali. Hope you've enjoyed the highlights of the first game of the Sin Premier League. Until next time, it's goodbye.